It's actually been so long since I've done a Zara haul that I've genuinely forgotten how to intro these videos. <laughs> so, uh, here goes nothing. Hello, welcome back. How are you doing? Today I have a Zara haul to share with you. It's getting to that time of year where Zara gets really good. This time of year and like end of summer going into autumn is my absolute favourite time of year to shop on Zara. And they've started putting out some really good bits. So I've collected a whole lot of them to share with you for this video, including this top, which I have literally just thrown on. It needs a slight steam, but it's just so cute. I can resist. I love it. Side note, if you are new to my videos, I make this kind of video quite a lot. So hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more. I also do like kind of little life vlogs and quite often they show what I've been buying I also talk a little bit of beauty as well so if that sounds like it's up your street then hit the subscribe button yeah I have got a lot to get on with and there's also just a couple of pieces that still haven't arrived but are due to be arriving today so if I'm interrupted by the door that's probably them but if they don't arrive in the time that I'm sitting down with you then I will pop them at the end of this video so there might just be a few more try-ons at the end so stay tuned for that but yeah let's get into these boxes of which there are many. So it's worth noting that I feel as though Zara have skipped spring and gone straight to summer this year. So there's going to be quite a few colourful bits in this haul. So to counteract that, I'm getting started with a good old reliable little black dress, which I absolutely love. This is very like Moogler-esque. So we've got a lot of like mesh going on these like opaque bits kind of give you some modesty yeah it's a really cute little black like mini i'm gonna say mini dress i got this in a size small and i'm not sure how much it was because it only says the euros if you pay for things in euros though it was 29.95 i'm not sure what that is in pounds or dollars so i'm just gonna link to everything in the info box below by the way on that note i have a feeling that youtube might be moving at the info box it may be now appearing for some of you at the side of the screen maybe it's just a glitch that is currently happening at the moment i'm not sure but if you cannot see the info box down below it may be at the side of the screen if you're watching on desktop if you're watching on mobile there's just a little arrow next to the video title below and you just click that down just really having to put that out there because i posted a video the other week and apparently no one could see the info box and it literally ruined my whole day not to be dramatic but it ruined my whole day but anyway i'm excited to try this dress on this would look really cute with just plain black boots but also i have the jimmy choo moogler collab boots which are very very similar in their like style to this except it's kind of like a stripe that wraps around your ankle so that could look really cute with this it could look too much i'm not sure but it could be a vibe basically but i love the moogler dresses i cannot afford the moogler dresses so it would be really nice if this fit basically so I want to preface this video with, I feel like I may be needing everything in a smaller size, give or take a few items. Sometimes I'm a small, sometimes I'm an extra small. And I just don't know which one I'm gonna be sometimes when I order things. But yeah, this is the little black dress. I'm not sure if you guys are gonna love it with the boots. I'm not sure if you guys are gonna love this dress full stop. And I completely understand that this dress is not for everyone. I'm not even sure it's for me because the design has been based around, I guess the average, Body. Average body whatever that actually means i think that term probably i should not be saying that and it needs to go in the bin but a body of like let's say average height because when i pull the dress all the way down you can actually see my belly button and i don't know if that's an intentional part of the yeah i'm so, I'm so sorry i actually can't talk to you with my belly button showing i I'm not even weird about belly buttons, but I'm so conscious that other people are weird about belly buttons. I don't know if it was intentional that the cut of the dress is made to show your belly button and make people uncomfortable, or if this was just designed with someone who has a longer body in mind, so their belly button is sits further. Yeah, it's a bit of a tricky one. I was being very ambitious when I purchased this dress, but it is so fun. So do we hate it? Do we rate it? Let me know. And I also would love to know whether you love it with the boots. These boots are like the ultimate divider of human beings. So I'm not sure if everyone is gonna love this choice, but I thought it was fun and I wanted to show you guys. So yeah, this is the back. This is such a risky one to start the video off with because I feel like so many people may switch off, but there are some really cute girly things coming up and really nice like daytime appropriate items. So don't click off it. Also just to give you an idea, cause I don't think I showed you with it properly, like full length as it's meant to be. I think it looks the best this way, but obviously I feel a bit weird about my belly button being out. So this is it properly like pulled down full length. Okay, that's gonna be it from me, love you, bye. Okay, next up. This is a bit of a wild one for me. If you're new to my channel, you won't know this, but if you watch my videos regularly, you'll know that I'm not a color girl. However, one of my friends has a pink 
suit and I just thought it was the cutest thing ever and Zara are currently doing this pink suit kind of like little co-ord situation and I was like yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna need that so there is a full look in here I've got the blazer I've got the is this a score I think it's a score yeah really cute little mini score and then I also picked up this top to go underneath it because basically I just love my friend Victoria's all pink little look so much that I was like I'm gonna have to try that this I actually just love I don't know if I should, I don't know if I'm a like Barbie pink kind of girl. I'm not sure if it works with my skin tone and my hair colour, to be honest. Part of me just thinks, do I need to be like blonde or really dark brunette to be able to pull this off, like rather than this kind of like in between. But it's really cute and this could look really nice actually with a pair of just white trousers during the summer. I think this could be really lovely. So I feel like this will work regardless of whether it works with the like entire look but i think this could still be really cute i'll cut to the full look now so you can kind of see it all together but i'll do a little try on for you with the little bralette with like a pair of trousers as well so you can see how it works i'm excited i really like that bralette actually okay so my pink dream is currently being crushed by the fact that this skirt is huge i don't know if it's meant to be worn more low rise to be honest i forgot to check that when i was ordering but this is the vibe that i was going for I think it's really cute, but I think the blazer is way too oversized. Like the shoulders finish here. My actual shoulders finish about here. So yeah, not ideal. I'm pretty sure this was a small skirt. Again, also too big. The little pink top. Love it. It's perfect. Let me know if you guys like this look in theory, but obviously it needs major adjustments in terms of like the sizing. If you guys like it, then I might reorder in a smaller size. But I kind of love it. If you've got like a bright scene for a summer wedding as well, this could be kind of cool. I mean, I don't know about the crop, but the overall like blazer skirt kind of look could be cool. Okay. And here is the little pink top with white trousers. I think this would be really cute with a white blazer over the top. I need to find a really cute white blazer because this is just like such a dreamy little top. It's so cute. I really like it. And I think with like white shorts in the summer as well, it could be very, very cute. So yeah, I like this. I don't know if everyone's gonna like this, but I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. The next item is a little bit more neutral. I like this. This is like my kind of wearing color. It's this gorgeous, like, I'm gonna say this is meant to be a midi dress, but it's gonna be like a long dress on me. But it's like ruched the whole way, which I think could just be really flattering. I got this in a size small and it was 49. 99 i'm really intrigued to see how this works out but i thought this could be so lovely in the summer especially on a holiday but like just for summer events in general this would look lovely even with a pair of flats if the length is right on me so could be worn as like a dressy but comfy outfit but you could also really dress it up with a pair of heels as well okay can i get your opinion is this giving like cute it girl vibes or is this giving like old school like drapes from the 1800s kind of vibes i'm not really sure do you know what i mean like the bottom part of this like looks like those funny curtains that you see in like period dramas does anyone else know what i'm talking about but yeah i think this is cute it's very comfy i think it's a really nice one if you have spring summer weddings it would work really nice with a blazer over the top if you need a little bit of extra warmth just a blazer thrown over the shoulders i never actually wear the blazers most of the time if i'm honest because i take ryan's things with me i rely on his blazer being cute and then i throw the blazer over my shoulders he basically babysits the blazer until I need it. But yeah, this would look really cute just with a blazer thrown over the top. You could go for a more neutral toned blazer of your own, but it's very like elasticated, very stretchy. It's so really great for if you are eating a lot of food, which I love to do. And if you're drinking a lot of champagne, which I also love to do at the wedding. So yeah, really cute. Love the color actually. I think it would work on a lot of different skin tones as well. But yeah, would love to know what you think of this one i don't think i'm going to keep it but i thought it'd be a great option to show you guys because i know so many of you are like on the hunt for different wedding guest dress options at this time of year so yeah oh these bits are so pretty i have been so looking forward to getting my hands on this dress thought again it would be such a lovely dress for summer it's this gorgeous little midi dress with like a little corset style top i think that's kind of what you call it it's got little adjustable straps on the back which is great and it's also got an elasticated back as well so i think this will fit really nicely i love it when dresses come with an elastic panel on the back so that it just fits really well but is really comfortable at the same time this print is just so cute I really really like it very very cute perfect for summer i think this would look lovely with like a really big oversized denim jacket worn really casually with like a pair of flats but again you could also dress it up with like a really cute pair of pink heels i got this in a size small and it was 27.99 which is 
Great. What do we think? I think this is quite cute. I The only thing I'm not keen on is the fact that it's not like super elasticated so that the bottom tapers in a little bit more. That is the only thing that I would love. And I know on other people it will probably sit a little bit higher so it won't really look so blocky at the bottom but I would just love for it to taper in that little bit more. I think that would just tie it off really nicely but overall this is such a lovely dress. I'm so interested to see what you guys think. Like, do you love it? This makes me want to get my denim jackets out of storage. I am ready for summer. So cute. I think it'd be one of those ones that works really nicely for like evenings out, but also you could wear it in the daytime, like I said, with like an oversized denim jacket and then little flats like these. These are my YSL sandals, but you could go for like a cute pair of like nude heels as well, or like a pink heel. Yeah, I really love it. It's so pretty. Okay, then we have this really sweet little bralette style top. I found a real gap in my wardrobe recently for like goey out style tops so that's something that i'm really kind of focusing on at the moment trying to make sure i have lots of pieces to like layer under blazers or to just pair with leather trousers i just found that there was a real gap in my wardrobe for like nice tops so hence purchasing this this would be really cute as well you could wear this with like white trousers or just like any kind of tailored trouser this would look really chic but then it could also look really cool with like a pair of leather trousers but it would also still look really nice with light blue mom jeans in the summer i think this has got a lot of versatility to it i love the kind of like nude kind of color will it look like i'm just not wearing enough clothing because <laughs> the tone of it is very close to my skin tone we'll have to see but yeah, I thought this was really, really cute. You could also layer this over the top of like shirts if you like that kind of like layered look. I'm not such a fan. I think it's a bit bulky on me. I've got a bit too much boob going on, but I know some people love that look. But yeah, I think this is very cute. Okay, love this top. Really, really cute. There's a little bit of like a tag situation and stuff here, but it's nothing that can't be fixed once I decide that I'm keeping it, which I think I'm going to. I really like it. It's very cute. Yes, bordering on, am I just wearing my underwear? That's <laughs> clothing. But I actually really like it. I think with the white trousers, it looks really cute. I think it's a really nice summer look. All I need is the perfect like summer jacket to throw over the top, and I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's a matching blazer to the trousers, and that could look really cute. I don't know yet, but this top is cute. I really like it. Yeah, I think this is a look. I'm going to show you in full. Hang on. I really like it. It's so cute. I think it would work really nicely with jeans as well to like dress the jeans up a bit i think i just need the perfect jacket to throw one over the top but again during the summer i think this could also be really cute with like say like a little pair of white shorts and then like a white shirt thrown over the top i actually really think this is quite versatile as long as you've got like the right layering kind of situation going on what do you think do you hate it or it takes i feel like some people are going to be like no that is just too much for me oh, do you want to come up for anyone new here this is Nala, but we call her Shrimpy, and she is the dream. She's so cute. Okay, so Zara have got some really good shoes in at the moment. I ordered a selection of the neutral ones because that is actually where I'm seeing a little bit of a gap at the moment when I'm like getting dressed. And as much as I would have loved to have had like a bright coloured pair of these. I've got enough bright pink shoes in my wardrobe at the moment. I just couldn't do another pair. But these are fab. I enjoy the platform trend. I know lots of taller girls just will not be loving the platform trend. But as someone who's five foot two, I appreciate the platform trend because it means that I can wear heels but in a much more painless way because this platform on the front actually means that the heel is only like this high and that is a very wearable height for me. So yeah, it basically makes heel wearing much more comfortable and almost like it could be an everyday occurrence for me. So I really appreciate this trend. So decided to buy into this heavily. I also think that this kind of shoe is amazing for wedding season. If you're out in grassy areas, a thick heel like this is amazing and also this kind of platform is great too. Just keeps you off the ground a little bit, will keep your dress if you're wearing a long dress further off the ground. I just think they are kind of like a no brainer, especially in this kind of color when it comes to wedding season, because this will go with any dress, any dress color. Got these in a size five and they were 59.99. And these are the nude platform wedges. I'm not sure if they would look better with a dress that's actually shorter. I am kind of like, I'm ignoring about whether this goes, but wanted to show you this dress with the shoes because I think both would be great for a summer wedding. So yeah, I kind of wanted to give you a more appropriate shoe choice because we all know all of my shoes have a very thin heel and it really does come back to bite me at wedding season and I have to just learn to walk on the balls of my feet. Next box. Some of you will have got a sneak peek of this in a 
previous video, it might have been Monday's video, this top, oh, so cute, gave you a sneak peek of this, I think, in the last vlog, I love this, I think with a pair of white trousers, oh, sorry, she doesn't like the top, okay, for me, it's like a work, kind of like Zoom meeting type top, you know, where you're like wearing very comfortable items on the bottom, but like something nice on the top, this will be amazing, for me, when I sit down and do things like this, I am wearing trackies on the bottom right now this will be an amazing top for like sitting doing youtube videos but also just worn out like with a pair of lovely like leather trousers or my white tailored trousers this would look really really cute also just with a pair of like white jeans blue jeans really really cute very sheer but i'll just wear like a neutral bra underneath and then it's got these little kind of like ruched sleeves i think it could just be really cute and i love the tone of this it makes me look really glowy and tan okay this top so cute is it a little bit see-through yes do i mind no it's so cute i really like it it hits at like a really good point it actually is like cropped and it kind of sits like there so i've just literally sat it on the lining of my trousers fits really nicely i love the sleeves like the length is really really cute again i think it looks really lovely with a white trouser but we also look very very cute with the blue jean as well a bit too colorful for me then got two colors going on and that feels a bit much but yeah i really like it with like either a white jean or a white trouser i think it's really lovely and you could definitely get away with wearing like a little cami vest top under this as well if you wanted to cover up a little bit more i'd just pick something something from like intimacy me that is like a very similar color like a nude or a like light pink something that's not going to take away from the top too much but if you want like to be covered from here down you can be but yeah love it very cute it's got a little button up at the back very very happy with this one now we have another going out top i'm so sorry if some of you just don't like going out the irony of someone that is so heavily introverted buying this many like going out tops is not lost on me trust me but yeah i couldn't resist this i really love the tone of it i think it's beautiful and i liked the detailing along the top this could go one of two ways it could either be amazing or it could be terrible i recently bought a pink body from zara which was so gorgeous on the website so beautiful and on me it was just so disappointing there was no boning to it that helped to hold the top up whereas this actually does this has some boning to it annoyingly on the back though but hopefully it should still help but what it actually needs is like some kind of boning on the front to help it stay up but hopefully this top has enough structure to like help it look cute because the one that was a body it was just like falling down <laughs> it was really not cute but yeah hopefully this will look nice we'll see we'll see now this one i'm gonna need your help with i am not sure it came like this in the box but i'm not sure if it should be more like this I think it definitely looks more flattering like that. But yeah, this is kind of how I envisioned this working. Then with an oversized black blazer over the top. It's very nice and it actually fits really well. I'm not wearing a bra with this and I feel quite like supported. And I don't think it's like slipping down at all, which is good. Yeah, what do we think? I love the colour. I think it's a very like me colour that I like to have in my wardrobe. I love the material as well. Just love that kind of like sheeny texture. I think it's really nice for like a night out. Yeah, let me know what do you think keep or return i saw this dress and it was such a classic that i had to pick it up it's got like three quarter length sleeves no kind of like v on the front it's just like a rounded neck which i really like and then goes into like this tiered skirt it could be a bit long on me we'll have to see i always like really struggle with dresses from zara it does have an open back though with a little tie back i'm guessing which would help to like cinch you in it could be super cute it could be a disaster let's see but even if it doesn't work on me which i think would only really because i'm very confident in the style of dress i think the only reason it wouldn't work would be because of my height hopefully if you have a few more inches to you it will be the perfect classic little white dress for your summer wardrobe or your spring wardrobe depending on where you live this dress is so cute you guys i feel like this is a wardrobe must have for like spring summer it's so cute i love the puffy sleeves but i love the fact that it's like covered across the chest i have one really similar to this bit it has a v-neck and sometimes i think i would prefer a round neck on it so yeah absolutely love this it is a little bit longer than i would normally go for my other zara dress is definitely a better length for me so for that reason i won't keep this one because i think you should only like upgrade if you can do better and although i love the top of this one it makes me look like a doll but it is super cute i just paired it with my ysl sandals i think it's lovely if you're looking for like the perfect summery white dress this could be it another item i wanted to share just as a heads up 
if you liked the reformation blue dress that i had but didn't like the price tag you need to take a look at this dress which is a bit modeled but this dress is the exact same color if you haven't seen my wedding guest dress edit that i just posted i will link it at the top of the screen i would definitely recommend giving it a watch there's so many affordable options for like spring summer wedding guest dresses but i posted this blue reformation dress which is stunning i absolutely love it and i saw this one on zara and it's basically like the exact same color but just a slightly different fit and style obviously like a little bit more cut out but still definitely worth having a look at if you loved the blue dress that i posted because this was 45.99 which is so different in price from the reformation dress so i thought i would flag this for you guys i got this in a size small and we will see what this looks like okay there's a little bit more boob going on here than i like but bear with me i think i could have done with an extra small so we've got a little bit more room on the waist than i would usually want it fits well but it's just like i can fit both hands like down the sides of this dress and it doesn't fit as i would love it to on the chest and because there's no adjustable strap it does just mean that it's not sitting really really well over my chest but all in all if you can get this in the right size and you're a little bit taller i would say especially in terms of this area of your chest i think this would be the dream and a great alternative to my reformation dress if i can put a little cutaway of my reformation dress on screen now so you can kind of see i will but yeah i think it's a really great little alternative if you loved the color of that dress and the kind of like silky style this is a really lovely one and then we have this really cute little black top it's kind of in like a bralette kind of cut along the chest and then has these kind of like interesting little back straps but i thought this would be one of those tops that would be an absolute staple in my wardrobe it's really nice and stretchy as well so hopefully it's going to fit well i have one similar that i love but my boobs at the moment are at this stage where they just look squashed in it all the time so i'm hoping that this one fits a little bit more reasonably and i can get a bit more wear out of this it's literally this kind of top literally goes with everything you can pair it with jeans for a more casual look like this would look amazing with like white mom jeans and a pair of like platform heels or you could go leather trousers always a go-to for me skirts shorts tailored trousers the whole shebang leather trousers it would be a bit grease but you know we could roll with it yeah i love these kind of tops and i think they always look especially good with jeans like they really help to like elevate a pair of jeans oh my goodness i love at first i was a little bit scared that it was making the girls look a bit squished but i think we're okay and this has a lot of stretch to it and i am wearing quite a supportive bra underneath this yeah what do we think maybe i'll watch the footage back and be like hmm no, nah, but so far really like it. I actually like the fact that the straps on this come out so far. I think sometimes with tops you can kind of get like a little bit of a like bulge here, but the kind of like wider straps really, really helps with that. I also really like the style of the back. It's very cool. And I'm wearing, well actually can you see? I don't think you can see, I'm wearing a bra. So yeah, you don't have to go braless with this one if you don't want to. I think it's really, really flattering. What do we think? I've just paired it with my white Zara trousers, little nude heels. I'll probably throw on a black blazer with this as well. And you can swap, like literally you can wear anything on the bottom with this outfit. I would wear jeans, black trousers, white jeans would be amazing, dark blue jeans, light, uh, literally any kind of jean, any kind of leather trouser so cute i also wanted to show you guys this dress which i think is going to be a bit hard to hold up it's got like little all of these little straps something something like this it's kind of off shoulder a little bit but then has like these tie bits here so it kind of goes like this shape but it's kind of hard to hold up but yeah this dress is in this like organzary type material but has a floral print really really cute and i picked this one up to show you guys because i thought it would be really lovely for a spring wedding if you guys have any on at the moment even for summer the colors are really beautiful there's some real like peachy warm pinks in it yellows oranges little bits of green so in terms of like accessorizing with a dress like this you have so many options because there's so many colors running through this dress and i really did like the cut of it i think that the off shoulder with the little kind of halter neck is just so cute so interesting really like feminine and floaty and romantic it could be a little bit long on me We'll see how the length comes up but i plan on wearing them with i mean you could wear them with any shoe i just thought these would be quite cool these little light pink light pink kind of like neutral beigey platform heels i think they're really really cool they are quite shiny i'm not sure if i 
love that i think maybe i prefer the other ones i really couldn't decide when ordering so i decided to order both and just see which ones i liked better once i tried them on these ones don't feel like they're gonna be as comfy like the squishy part of the heel isn't as squishy but i thought they could potentially be really cute with these not sure if you'll even be able to see my feet but you might be able to since these are so so tall so they're gonna add a lot more height for me which will be great i got them in a size 5 and they were 45.99 49.99 yeah really cute we'll see how we got on with them okay you guys need to bear with me because i still have the elasticated bits on the shoes i cannot get it off i know it's meant to pop and separate can't do it for the life of me today so we still have all the tags on and i'm not sure on the shoes they are not the most comfortable just because of like the painting kind of like shiny effect it's not the most like supple material so not sure these shoes are a keeper if i'm honest but yeah this is the little dress i am gonna have to like shimmy my way towards you guys it is it's got an elasticated waist which is amazing but it's quite baggy and i don't know if i maybe need a size smaller or it's just meant to sit in a more baggy way I'm not really sure. But yeah, the dress overall I think is really cute. I think the way it sits is really sweet, like very floaty, very feminine, really romantic. Love that. Yeah, let me know what you think on this one. I do wish it was a little bit tighter. I just feel a bit more secure and like the dress isn't moving about too much because right now I feel like it's really, like there's a bit too much room in it. But yeah, overall I think it's a really lovely dress and lovely for like a spring summer wedding. Really cute shoulder and back detail too. Love it. Okay, so this is the part where we're going to cut to my extra items that have not arrived yet. I hope you enjoy seeing them. I'm excited for them to arrive. There are some really, really gorgeous bits in this order, which I couldn't not feature in this video. There's some really, really cute spring summer dresses. I'm obsessed. Okay, so just in, fresh from the postman, we have these new Zara dresses that have dropped. And they are very, like, Reformation... Reformation? Yeah, Reformation-esque style dresses that Zara are doing. Although Zara needs to stop doing this thing because it's really grinding my gears where they make the cups about this big on literally everything at the moment that has like a bralette, they're making it very, very small. And part of me is like, are you trying to make my boobs just look smaller by giving me a smaller bralette? Because you're not really doing that. All you're doing is like making sure they're very unsupported and almost look like they're bulging out. But for me, if I'm having a small boob day or for you guys, if you don't have as bigger boobs this could be a real winner i love the color of this so much like so much though it is a workout to get into because look at the back of this look at the back so you have to get it on from the bottom up it has a zip but to get it over my bum i have to like completely undo all of this not completely but like almost completely it has to be very very loose and then you have to spend a long time doing yourself back up again i would not have survived in the age where we actually had to wear corsets but yeah the overall style of the dress i love i love this like reformation i think it's the courtney dress i love this style of dress i think it's beautiful and if you're looking for a more affordable alternative this is it so zara have actually done these in a number of different cuts and shapes so i'm going to show you another one now which is in a very not me color this dress makes me feel like i want to be on holiday look at that color i have never worn this color ever before but it really makes my tan pop which is lovely I just paired it with my ysl sandals so just like a really nice little kind of day look i think this would be very cute with like a little basket bag yeah really cute what do we think this isn't a color that i would normally wear so i feel a little bit out of my comfort zone but i thought these dresses were too cute not to share okay and i think this final one might be my favorite what do we think it's such a pretty little dress and i love a blue especially for summertime it's pretty much the only color i wear i almost say like in summer blue is a neutral especially like denim i always count that as a bit of a neutral paired with a white shirt i don't know if that's crazy but yeah blue is one of my safe colors for the summer like i just know it's always so timeless it's always so pretty i love how girly this dress is it's very not my usual but there's something quite clean cut about it which i really like like it's not too frilly i mean i know i just sat and talked you through so many items of clothing wearing like a top with huge frills but it's still quite like clean cut across the rest of the body and i feel like this is also kind of similar in that respect like it's very simple apart from like these little shoulders the rest of it is really simple so yeah let me know what do we think i'm hoping if i wear this dress for long enough today the sun might come back out because it's like two o'clock and i'm in the dark basically i really need to turn the lights on but i don't want to ruin the video but yeah i'm hoping this dress might attract some sunshine because i need it and that's a wrap i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to let me know as always which of the items were your favorite in the comments below i hope you're all having a lovely day and i'll see you guys again very very soon
love you. Bye.